Dear learners, I, Dr. Renan Tomar, welcome you back on the part two of the series of lecture on information technology and education. In my previous lecture, I discussed the concept of information technology, how it is to be read with respect to education, how it has changed the education, as well as what kind of changes it can bring in the future. In the past lecture, we have been talking about the utilization of artificial intelligence for improving the teaching learning process. As we discussed in our previous lecture that artificial intelligence can make trial and error learning less intimidating. That means that the learners because of the fact that they have the psychological issues because a teacher or their peer are seeing them as being assessed and the result is that the learner does not feel very comfortable in answering the questions in the classroom. But because of the fact that machine makes it more comfortable for him, even if he is committing error, he enjoys committing error. And the trial and error particularly in the objective type test is enjoyed by the student because of the fact that the machine tells the right option as well as the reason for that right option as well as promote the student's learning and being aware of the fact that he or she is being dealt by the machine makes the student more comfortable while learning particularly in the trial and error learning. AI uh, when it comes to data AI can change how the how we can find the school, how to teach as well as the support students. In fact, AI can provide the data of the students as well as of the schools and that can be brought in one domain and that can also help in the future as to understand that with school, compare the schools as well as uh, suggest the teachers how to teach better by bringing all the knowledge plays all the schools together because of the fact that AI is functioning and even the students can be supported by the teachers from the different schools as well as from the students of other schools. So, uh, AI by combining the data can change even the scenario of the school. It can also change how the student learn, it can also change how uh, the student is being taught. In fact, now the student can be taught not just by his or her own teacher, but also by the other students, other teachers and from there on they can acquire basic skills. So, when we talk about uh, AI, AI can provide number one the grading. Grading particularly when it comes to the objective to objective assessment then that is being done by the systems now. In fact, now the most of the objective assessment may it be in the competitive examination or may it be in the academic examination that is being taken care of by AI. We have uh, in uh, various uh, agencies which are working may it be the Google which also provide you the help for assessing the objective type question paper or may it be the other agencies which are providing the information, the softwares which are being utilized for grading the objective type assessment of the students and that is also being uh, done by quite many apps also. So, uh, now uh, the grading, the objective type grading does not require a human intervention, but when it comes to subjective grading, it is difficult to automate that grading, uh, but it is not impossible. May it be the fill in the blanks, may it be the multiple choice that can easily be done by automated system, but when the writing of the student is to be graded, then we do not have such kind of good software, but in the future we shall be having the softwares which shall be able to assess even the assays and they would be able to assess the assays to such an extent that the students will be able to know that where 
uh, they have gone wrong from the perspective of information, from the perspective of style and that would also bring all the students at the same level and the problem of the problem which is generally felt by the students when they are being assessed by the teachers is that the teachers uh, are impacted by the fact that what kind of student the the person is in the class, how regular he or she is to the class and that does have an impact on the evaluation system also, assessment of the students also. So, those aspects or the, the, the fact that teacher has one's own style of writing or the style of the students writing may not be liked by the teacher. So, those subjective which is part of human psychology that can be gotten rid of if we apply AI to the subjective assessment also. But that is something which is talk of the future because currently we do not have such kind of software which can assess the essays well. The, there are softwares which can provide you the vocabulary, the improved vocabulary as to have the better better structured content of may it be the essay, may it be the note, but still we do not have a software which can guide you through as to improve upon the style, the language, the content, all those aspects which are looked into by the teachers. In fact, the AI can become a individualized teacher, it is application which is going to happen in the future and it is also happening in the currently also is making learning more adaptive and more game oriented. We have many people who are working in this field particularly in the education who are teaching by utilizing technology and that is being made interesting for the students through games, through adaptive learning program, through utilization of software. So, these things make not just learning interesting, but also take control of the, the student's journey to one's own goal. So, these system respond to the need of the students and the result is that the student gets to know that what he or she has mastered and in which direction he or she should be moving as to improve upon. In fact, the student also get to know uh, what pace he or she is learning and uh, also understand that how that pace has to be improved. When we talk about AI, we understand that the teachers at times does not understand or um, are not aware of the gaps in their lectures and even the educational materials and that at times results in leaving students confused about certain concepts. We have the people who are utilizing technology as to improve learning like Coursera, a massive open line course provider which puts information into the practice. And the result is that the student gets the material as well as lecture on their own pace and the learning is also controlled by the students. And the, the fact that uh, the, uh, the fact that there is gap between what is being talked and what is being uh, provided as the educational material, those gaps are being taken care of by these uh, technological partners in the education. When there are large number of students who are to be taught and uh, are to be assessed, then the teacher can make her or her or his work easier by uh, utilizing AI or the machine assessment so that the students uh, can be assessed by the machine in the objective form manner as well as be provided the homework assignment and uh, uh, those homework assignment can also be assessed by the machine if it is objective. That leaves teacher with more time as to customize her teaching in a better manner. In fact, the machine can be utilized by the teacher uh, not just to provide the assignments as to assess the students, but also 
to uh, look into the fact that where the individual students have raised as far as the uh, knowledge is concerned. So, even the individual students can be supported by the teacher by utilizing AI tutors. When we talk about AI tutors and human tutors, we have to accept the fact that machine cannot be human and it cannot provide the various factors which are associated with the human tutors. AI as a machine can only provide the information. It is important for the student who is really keen learner, but for the other students, it is the human tutor who sees to it that the student feels interested in the uh, in the field as well as the human tutor is able to moderate as well as switch over one's own teaching in such a manner as to make it interesting for the students. So, the, the, the kind of a changes which are required at times as to deal with the students that can only be handled by the human tutors. And the most important aspect particularly in the school education and even at the UG level is maintaining the interest of the student, is monitoring the uh, knowledge of the students. May, in a, the, the teacher has to see that how the progression, the academic progression, the knowledge progression is being uh, is taking place as far as student is concerned. This can only be done by the human tutors because humans can add that human factor. They, they can understand, they can see, they can psychologically as well as find out that the problems with the students and accordingly they can uh, assess the students as well as accordingly they can also uh, change their teaching style. That cannot be done by the AI tutors. So, currently we can say that AI tutors cannot replace human tutors and that is not even the policy perspective, that is not even the fact which we are looking forward to. In fact, what is being, view, what is being viewed is that the AI should be able to help human tutors as to improve their teaching as well as learning of the students. So, they are able to invest their time in other aspects because it is usually seen that the human tutors are so much occupied with the paperwork, the assessment work, the data management. Uh, because of all these aspects, they are not able to really take care of the psychological, sociological uh, needs of their students as well as monitor the learning of their students individually. So, that can easily be controlled by the fact that AI would be utilized for the data management for the assessment of the students. So, that the teacher will have more time available as to help their students through mathematics, writing and other aspects. AI driven program can give students and educators helpful feedback. In fact, it can also help teachers and students to craft courses that are customized to their needs. And accordingly, the each student can be attended to. It can also provide feedback not just uh, to the teacher but also to the students so that the course, the progression in the course can be controlled. And this is being done particularly when we talk about the DLP mode in the distance education. AI is being utilized as to uh, provide the student the scope for improvement individually like the various programs or the various uh, ed educational agencies now which are involving technology as to provide the education, as to provide the information to the students. They are catering to the individual facts, they are catering to the individual students and online the students has access to the information as well as material and student is allowed to progress one's own pace. And uh, if the student is not being able to learn something, he or she does have time to 
cover up and uh, meanwhile if the student feel interested in some other aspect then even th those courses are also available. In fact, the AI can also be utilized to alert the teachers also wherever there are issues with the students performance. Just as we talked about in my previous lecture also like the in the Amazon we are able to uh, filter our purchases as well as add those purchases in the cart. So, similarly in the time to come education will also be adapting the IT in such a manner that the student will be able to filter as well as teacher will be able to filter the courses or the information or the modules for the need of the students and accordingly the student will be able to control one's own education in a manner which suits him or her requirement. Just as the Google can help us to reach a location just like that in the time to come there would be information technology being utilized by the students and the teachers as to guide or to reach the the the, the information uh, pedestal the knowledge pedestal as to reach the that knowledge pedestal which can be further improved just as Siri we find in the iPhone adapts to our needs and commands similarly there will be other uh, uh, educational softwares also be introduced in the future which will be available the information which will make the information available as well as knowledge available the assessment tools available as well as the teaching material as well as the learning material available uh, just on our command uh, if we are teacher or a student. So, the just at the web ads are geared towards our interest and shopping preferences similarly in the future the student will also be guided through as to understand that where uh, he is and in which direction the student shall be moving. It has been perceived not just in India even in the developed countries that the students when they are pass out of the school they are not really aware they do not understand that which field they should be going for and that often results in making wrong choices that can easily be controlled by AI. So, AI can be utilized the machine learning can be utilized as to guide the students in uh, provide in finding out the exact area of interest which they should be looking for as to provide them their strength in the academics. For example, there are students who score better at reasoning and there are students who score better at creativity. How that can be assessed? Manually that can be assessed with the help of career counselors, but even AI can be utilized for every student to assess oneself by going through certain testing and that can help the student to go for that particular uh, course which suits one's own needs as well as which is also as per the strength of that particular student. So, the teacher's role now shall be shifting to because of the intelligent computing system. The teacher's role shall be shifting from the information provider to the facilitator because AI will make the assessment also easier as well as more friendly. Uh, trial and error shall uh, become less intimidating uh, for the students and uh, the idea of failing which usually paralyze the student that can be taken care of by assessing through AI. In fact, uh, the, their, the intelligent computer system can also help the student to understand one's own weakness because when the, when the system is assessing the student, the, there is a judgment free environment and the AI is also offering solutions for the improvement and that is easy for the student to accept and acknowledge. And when we talk about data AI can also utilize the data to change as well as to control as well as to facilitate 
how to teach better how to support students but it has been seen that if we utilize data gathering uh, software then that may in the future lead to problems also to the current students as well as to the prospective students so <coughs> how that data is to be managed it is also a challenge uh, in front of the people who are playing an important role in the information technology information technology can also be utilized for recruiting the students or helping the students to be recruited in the agencies of their interest in fact the students can also be helped as to uh, as to get to know that which college they should go for because now the ai can guide the students to the strength of the school to the weaknesses of the school to the in his or her interest and accordingly match the uh, persona of the student at one side and the uh, the information related to the school or the or the or the college at the one side and that can be matched and accordingly student can feel a uh, student can see that where he or she fits in so such kind of programs which are of interest of the students they uh, shall become easily accessible for the students in the future because ai at a very uh, fast pace is changing the learning method as well as is changing the uh the assessment method as well as is providing the lot of information just at the click of the mouse now the most important aspect which as an educationist we have to keep in mind is that how the ai has to be utilized in such a manner that it doesn't replace the classroom instruction but rather it helps the teacher as to make her teaching better and improve the learning of the students so educational programs powered by ai should provide the services to the students as well as to the teacher so that has to be at the center of utilization of information technology by the students we shall be talking about machine learning now what is machine learning machine learning means machine learning as a machine provides the career path to the students it also provide the grading to the students as well as it does the data collection and uh, also provide the information and which is very much transparent when we talk about machine learning we have to understand that uh, machine learning means that just as we have the major companies like google and all uh, they are becoming more and more involved in the school education and that is making school more progressive also like we do have an example when the google is involved in the assessment of the students google is providing uh, the information uh, is providing a channel to the teachers as to do the objective assessment of the students at at in their own space in their own uh, dimensions and that can be done by the students as per their own uh, requirement as well as as well as the need so uh, similarly the in the long run machine learning will become more natural and real in the teaching profession as well as in the education sector just as we talked about that the career path can be predicted when we talked about ai we were talking about that how the students can be helped by the machine as to pick up not just the good college as well as to pick up the uh, the job for themselves because there there uh, are machines which are providing or predicting for the students objectively based upon their skills abilities interest and or providing them which job should they be going for or which uh, program they should be going for the courses which they should be going for they can pick and choose and accordingly design the their own education which they would be picking up in fact when we are talking about this we all of us are aware of the fact that nep 2020 has 
opened up education like to such an extent that any student can choose from the multitude of subjects like even the person who has taken humanities he or she can switch over to the engineering if the person finds it relevant or if the person finds it of use so that demarcation which we have currently that is in india in particularly that shall be uh, we are going to get rid of that in fact there wouldn't be any kind of a demarcation based upon the uh, stream like science stream or commerce stream or humanities in fact the student shall be able to choose the subjects of their interest like the person who is studying mathematics may also go for arts or music because this is something he or she enjoys and the student similarly can study uh, chemistry along with uh, commerce or accountancy or economics depending upon one's own interest so that freedom is being given because it is being accepted that the interest of the student is something which is known to the student at his best and that has to be understood by the teachers parents and the society at large and because of the fact that now we have artificial intelligence playing very important role and we have in advent due to the fact that we have the information technology which has become very vibrant nowadays due to that the student can easily be able to identify one's own interest and accordingly choose the subject of one's own interest rather than making mistakes and then uh, uh, due to those fact that at times it is seen that the students really don't enjoy studying the subject which they have chosen because it is generally seen that the student who has scored well he or she is asked to take the science because science is supposed to be the subject which requires more devotion dedication and sincerity and at times the interest and ability and the skill set of the students is overlooked but because of the fact that we are going to utilize ai information technology more the result will be that the student will be choosing for the subject an area which suits him more and similarly for the recruiting agencies also they would be matching well friends at this note i dr renu tomar shall leave you as to join you back again in the same uh, series of lecture on the third part of the series of lecture on this uh, on the topic that is information technology and education namaskar jai hind